temples um, but then if i visit uh, some place where you know some photographs of the past saints are there i feel very comfortable and i feel that you know some kind of energy is pulling me as a, like i can sit in front of it just forget the time and, and so i don't know what's pulling me towards you or that whatever you call that energy what's the question now what's pulling you what's pulling you is the question or uh, yeah how to avoid the pulling is the no, question. No, no, I don't okay. want to uh, actually want to go to work. Okay. What's pulling you? <clears throat> what you refer to as a guru is somebody who has no stuff of his own. He's like an empty space. If you know something about, you know how the winds move, you watch the weather chart on the television, the winds always move from high pressure to low pressure, isn't it? Wherever, wherever there is low pressure, it's in that direction all the wind will rush. This is the way of the existence. So even here, spiritually also the same thing. Now, one person is totally empty. Now naturally, yeah, everything begins to move in that direction because the person is empty within himself. You are not going there. If you are going there thinking you will get protection, see there is somebody who is offering you protection, there is somebody who is offering you solace, there is somebody who is doing service, that is different, you going there is for different reasons. There's somebody who's not doing anything but you're just pulled in that direction. Now, because it's empty, that emptiness just pulls you. Now, when it pulls you, what is pulling you is just your own emptiness within you. Because your innermost core is emptiness, please see. This word emptiness has always been a negative terminology, that's why I'm using that word. I could use other words but I am using emptiness, emptiness, nothingness all the time because it's always been negative terminology, never been used as spiritual generally. That's why I am using that because all the so-called religion, religious words and spiritual words are so badly corrupted, given all kinds of distortions to them over a period of time. That's why I am using a very negative term, nothing, empty, nobody, <laughs> these kind of things. You believe that you are something, but if you really look into yourself, you are just a vast space, isn't it? In your unawareness, you are something. In your awareness, you are always nothing, please see. So you move towards this emptiness, you are drawn towards this simply because in that presence you always become much more aware than ever you are. And our awareness is aliveness, please see. To what extent you are aware, only to that extent you are alive, isn't it? And only that you are aware of exists for you. What you are not, not aware of doesn't exist for you. See, right now you are sitting here, right behind you there is a huge elephant standing. You are not aware of it. It doesn't exist for you, isn't it? Yes? Till you become aware, it doesn't exist. So there is an enormous emptiness within you, which you are not aware of, but another emptiness pulls you. As you get closer to it, suddenly you become how enormous you are. That makes you feel all the blissfulness, joy, whatever else comes is on, simply out of that. So, you go somewhere and you think somebody is great. You come here, for example, and you think I am great. It's of no significance. That anybody you will see and you think you are great, you know, that's not a big deal. Now you come and sit with me and you feel great. That's wonderful, that's what matters. You sit with me and in the end for no reason you feel you are wonderful, that's great. 
you think I am wonderful, that's of no significance. Because you will think a cinema star is also wonderful, Tch, you know. That's different, that's for a different reason. You… you… you like something that that person is doing, that's why you are saying he's wonderful. That's not of any importance. Your like and dislike is not of any importance. Today you will like it, tomorrow you will hate it, you know. Today you like my words, tomorrow you may not like it and you may hate me. It's possible, you know. So that's of no consequence for me. You like me, you dislike me, it doesn't matter. But when you're here, if you are feeling wonderful, that's great. Thank you.